ahí. Hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here and we are back with a PayPal request. This one is for John Manger and it is John Longstreth. And the song is All Things Dead. And previously I have done a John Longstreth video. That was a very raw one. Uh, let's see. Staring from the abyss and it was a drum cam. So it was very raw organic um, so you get to see a certain side of a player in that sense here we've got a minor symbols video so it's going to be very slick and I feel like we're going to get to see a different side the studio sound of John Longstreet before we get rolling very important if you dig the channel please consider subscribing the viewership versus subscription ratio uh, Yeah, it's not great. So <laughs> if you want to help out the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button. It all helps the almighty YouTube algorithm. If you would like your request to be done, you can hit me over at the Patreon. Those are my priority at the moment. I'm trying to sort out all the Patreon picks or via PayPal. And you can hit me on email if you do that. And the only other rules are get some coffee ready, get a decent set of headphones, and um, let's check out some drumming. Man, we have got some serious economy of movement here. John Longstreth, he does not like to uh, overdo things. He's just going to keep it real cool. So, you know, you just jump in the car with your buddy and you go up the road to get an ice cream. That's John Longstreth, except playing the most insane extreme metal drumming. <laughs> I've got to go back. Uh, the casual nature of his playing here is, um, is quite something to behold. Look at the upper body, how stable it is. absolute barrage of notes here and I know that these guys are really going for this intense sound so it's just yeah this is what you want <laughs> if you're aiming to be a great extreme drummer I mean obviously this is this is gonna be right up there let me know if what what do you think of these symbols so what exact line is he using here okay it's the classic classics custom dark I think I've done a video of someone else demoing those. Hold on. Yeah, I did the Simon Schilling also did a minor video of the demoing the cl uh, classics custom dark as well. So let me know what you think of these symbols. They're not the, I'm just going to be really honest. They're not the type of symbols I would go for. I'm a much more middle of the road player. I don't need my cymbals to sound like this. They don't need to cut through that extreme heavy distortion guitar. Um, and I don't need quite that much definition and dryness. So um, 
yeah, let me know if you're uh, if this is your kind of palette that you're going for in sound. Let me know uh, what you think of the Minor Classics Custom Dark. Um, they must be decent symbols. Uh, all these great drummers are demoing them, so yeah, they've got to have something. That is always super impressive to me how these guys with the extreme facility can stop and then start again and they just hit bam on the tempo that's really impressive once the motor's going i mean it's more of a becomes like a stamina thing it's quite different though when you when you just do a cold stop bump stop start again that it's really hard to just jump on the train from a cold stop much easier if you know you you have a running you run up and then jump on but just to jump on cold wow uh, i'm gonna back that up a bit that was um very very cool Okay, that single kick blast. Yeah, he was very casual, but that there was a little bit of stank going on there when he got into that single kick blast. He was pushing it a bit there. <laughs> What I'm really noticing with these guys is they'll go into an incredibly fast, like a blast pattern, and then they'll cha change the subdivision that they're they're writing on the right hand, or sometimes they do it both hands. That's what she said. They'll change the subdivision on the symbol hand. And it's really impressive. It shows really great facility and really awesome independence. So we're not just talking stamina and speed here. There's other elements at play. And I've, I've definitely noticed a lot with students, they'll think speed is, is king. Like we're going for speed. Uh, the faster you can get on the drums, the better you are on the drums. Uh, not so much um so much of it is control and i guess knowledge awareness of other concepts like dynamics and subdivision because the reason this sounds cool is because it's not all the same he's he's changing it up and it's giving it a bit of shape so extra uh, you know really heavy extreme lots and lots of notes changes one hand subdivision then we've we've got this little this little dip where we get it like a breather and then we launch into it again. It's it's awesome. I think I'm starting to like this extreme stuff. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams.
changing hands there. Hey guys, John Longstreth here from Origin. Um, let's talk about the symbols for a second, just a second, because it's going to be short, because it's all Class 6 custom dark. So we have 218 inch crashes. I struggle to say that as well. Class 6 we have 218 inch dark. crashes. We have a 20 inch crash over here, 14 inch hats right here, right up here in the center. This is an 8 inch splash, and this is a 10 inch splash. Gets a little strange when we uh, get into what these are over here. That's a Class 6 custom 18 inch. Mega Bell ride. It's a uh, it's a custom job that Minel was nice enough to make for Never me. Never seen anything like that. Hell out of them. There's one on the left. There's one on the right. Not that small. And anyway. being over here on the right, we have Generation X Benny Grab trash hats. It's a 12 inch top. Wow. It's a 14 inch filter China bottom. And that's that. Thank you. Isn't that cool? When you hear these guys talking, you learn a lot about drums from hearing people talk. But just you can tell. I've talked about this a lot. <laughs> the misconception, maybe I talk about it a lot because maybe I had it, but well, not for a long time anyway, but that these extreme or heavy players, you know, they're, they're crazy or they're dangerous or, or whatever. And then you hear them talking, you realize, oh, okay, he's just, he's a guy. He's, he's a dude. He's a normal guy. And I will say it again. I've done a middle round table podcast with uh, some of the best players in the extreme scene here in New Zealand, including Jamie St. Marat. So I'll put a link to that in the description. And yeah, I mean, every time I've met any of these metal guys, they've always been incredibly nice. And um, there's a lot of reasons for that. I think we've talked about that <laughs> in the comments section of some of my videos. And I think you're letting out a lot of the um, anger. I don't know if that's the right word, but you're unleashing a lot of feelings that might have been perhaps bottled up. You're unleashing them on the drums, uh, which is awesome. And it becomes a bit of a celebration. And I think even without being a player, with being a, a fan, audience member, you're still getting that release at the show. And I totally get that now. Um, more so from doing these videos, I'm really starting to get a feel for those kind of things, which I'm, I'm very grateful for. So I'm very grateful I get the chance to do these videos that people are interested enough to request them and I learn. And I love learning. There's nothing better than learning. Um, as always, with a lot of teaching that I do, a lot of playing, teacher learns the most, always. Um, hey guys, remember if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, hit the like button and I'll catch you next time. All right, ciao.